Hello from America, and welcome back to our channel. Over the past few days, we've received some somber news about the passing of extraordinary talents. Today's episode is dedicated to honoring their memory. We will also recap the stars we've recently lost. Before we begin, we kindly ask for your support. If this video or the legacies of these remarkable individuals have touched your life, please consider giving this video a thumbs up as a sign of respect and remembrance. Thank you. Adrian Schiller, a gifted English actor celebrated for his remarkable versatility and emotional depth, passed away suddenly and unexpectedly at the age of 60. Born in Oxford on February 21, 1964, Schiller's career spanned over three decades, making him a beloved presence in both television and film. Schiller's acting journey began with his appearance in an episode of Prime Suspect in December 1992, marking the start of a prolific career. He gained widespread recognition for his role in the impactful anti-drink-driving public information film Moment of Doubt, part of the Department for Transport's Think Road Safety campaign. This powerful performance not only raised public awareness, but also earned the piece Best Casting at the Baca Awards in December 2008, showcasing his profound ability to engage and affect audiences deeply. In 2021, Schiller added to his diverse portfolio by portraying Pasha Verdinikov in two episodes of the beloved series Death in Paradise, demonstrating his seamless skill in bringing varied characters to life. His sudden passing has left a profound void in the acting community, where he is remembered not only for his significant on-screen contributions, but also for his professionalism and kindness off-screen. Schiller's ability to breathe life into every role made him a cherished figure among peers and fans alike. As the news of his death reverberates through the hearts of those who knew and admired him, Adrian Schiller's legacy as a consummate artist will undoubtedly endure. His life and career will continue to inspire aspiring actors, and his performances will remain a benchmark of excellence in the art of acting. Joe Flaherty, the acclaimed actor, writer, and comedian, known for his unforgettable roles on SCTV and as Harold Weir on Freaks and Geeks, passed away at the age of 82 after a brief illness. Born on June 21, 1941 in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Flaherty's career spanned decades, leaving an indelible mark on television and comedy. Flaherty's journey into entertainment began after his service in the Air Force, plunging into the comedy scene in Chicago with the Second City Theater. There, he collaborated with icons like John Belushi and Harold Ramis. Later, he moved to Toronto, becoming a cornerstone of the SCTV Ensemble, where his remarkable talent for portraying a range of memorable characters shone. His portrayal of the bumbling station manager, Guy Caballero, famously using a wheelchair, for respect, and the horror host Count Floyd, his signature mock terrifying howl, remains beloved by fan. Flaherty's ability to blend satire with earnestness brought a unique flavor to his performance, cementing his status as a cherished figure in comedy. Flaherty's film roles included appearances in classics such as Happy Gilmore and Back to the Future Part II. On television, he was celebrated for his role as the lovably strict Harold Weir on Freaks and Geeks, where he brought both humor and heart to the show, which, despite its brief run, continues to resonate with audience. Beyond the screen, Flaherty was a mentor and teacher, passionately nurturing new talent. He served as artist-in-residence at Humber College's School of Creative and Performing Arts in Toronto, where he taught and advised in the comedy writing and performance program. His commitment to fostering emerging comedians further solidified his legacy as a guiding force in the industry. Joe Flaherty leaves behind a legacy rich with laughter and learning. His work influenced generations of comedians and performers, continuing to inspire with his distinctive style and profound impact. He is survived by his children, Gudrun and Gabriel, who carry forward his creative legacy. Joe's passing is a profound loss to the comedic community, but his spirit will live on through his memorable performances and the countless lives he touched.
Mike Heslin, a rising star known for his captivating performances in Taylor Sheridan's Lioness and Lifetime's The Holiday Proposal Plan, passed away tragically at the age of 30 following an unexpected cardiac event. His death came after a week-long hospitalization, leaving his family, friends and fans in profound sorrow. The heartbreaking news was shared by his husband, Nicholas James Wilson, also known by his stage name, Scotty Dynamo. Mike's career, though short, shone brightly with his remarkable talent and deep passion for acting. His portrayal of Polo in the first season of Lioness showcased his ability to captivate audiences, while his role in the holiday proposal plan demonstrated his charm and versatility, making him a beloved figure among peers and viewers alike. Beyond his professional accomplishments, Mike was a man brimming with life and love. He was devoted to his family and harbored dreams of becoming a father, a role he felt was his true calling. His husband fondly recalls Mike's heartfelt desire to nurture and raise children, a testament to his compassionate and loving nature. His untimely passing not only deprives us of his future performances, but also of the caring father he aspired to be. In a touching tribute, Scotty Dynamo quoted Shania Twain, expressing the depth of their love and bond. I'll love you forever and for always. This sentiment echoes the profound connection they shared and resonates with all who knew Mike. His kindness, generosity, and vibrant spirit touched countless lives during his brief time with us. Mike Heslin's legacy will endure, etched in the memories of those who loved him and the work that captured his immense talent and joyful spirit. Though his time was short, the warmth and light he brought into the world will be remembered always. The sports world is grieving the untimely loss of Kyrie Jackson, a promising 24-year-old rookie cornerback for the Minnesota Vikings. Jackson tragically passed away early Saturday morning in Prince George's County, Maryland, in a devastating three-car collision that also claimed the lives of his friends and former college football players, Isaiah Hazel and Anthony Etten Jr. Kerry Jackson's journey to the NFL was one of extraordinary perseverance and relentless spirit. From his humble beginnings at junior college, Jackson worked tirelessly, even taking a job at a grocery store, keep his dreams alive. His tenacity paid off, leading him to Alabama and later to Oregon, where he earned first-team All-Pac-12 honors. Known for his infectious energy and unwavering dedication, Jackson's rise to the NFL inspired many and brought a refreshing vibrancy to the Vikings roster. Tragic accident occurred when their vehicle, driven by Hazel, was struck by an Infiniti Q50, attempting to change lanes at high speed. Collision forced their car off the road, crashing into tree stumps, with fatal consequences. Authorities have indicated that alcohol might have been involved, charges pending as investigations continue. The football community, including teams, coaches and fans, has been left in deep sorrow, offering heartfelt condolences to the families of these young men. Jackson's legacy extends beyond his achievements on the field. His resilience and character deeply touched those who knew him, endearing him to teammates and fans alike. As we mourn the loss of Kerry Jackson, we are reminded of the fragility of life and the relentless spirit needed to pursue one's dreams against all odds. His memory will undoubtedly endure, inspiring future generations to face adversity with grace and determination. Ron Thompson, an iconic American actor, singer, songwriter, and dancer, left an indelible mark on the world of entertainment. Born in Louisville, Kentucky, passed away at the age of 83 in his Van Nuys apartment in Los Angeles. His illustrious career spanned several decades, showcasing his immense talent across multiple creative fields. Thompson was perhaps best known for his dual lead roles in Ralph Bakshi's groundbreaking rotoscope film American Pop and his portrayal of Detective Noki in the 1970s TV series Beretta. These roles highlighted his dynamic acting ability and earned him critical acclaim, solidifying his status as a respected figure in the entertainment industry. Before his success on screen, Thompson ventured into music in the 1960s under the stage name Ronnie Thompson, with guidance from rockabilly singer Ursel Hickey. 
Although his musical career was brief, it added another layer to his multifaceted artistic persona, revealing his versatility and passion for the arts. In theater, Thompson's talents shone brightly. He originated the role of Shanty Mulligan in the 1969 Pulitzer Prize-winning play No Place to Be Somebody by Charles Gordon. His performance was hailed as splendid by Mel Gusso of the New York Times, showcasing his impactful presence on stage. Further accolades included winning the Los Angeles Drama Critics Circle Award for his lead performance in the play Does a Tiger Wear a Necktie, a role famously portrayed by Al Pacino. Thompson also left a lasting impression with his performance in the 1976 Meluso and Perry play By the By and By, earning praise for his role in this offbeat and hilarious black satire. His ability to tackle complex characters extended to television, where he dramatically portrayed Henry David Thoreau in the NBC series The Rebels. In his later years, he continued to prove his artistic vigor, starring in the 2018 thriller film Cargo. Ron Thompson's passing is a profound loss to the creative world. His legacy will endure through the memorable characters he brought to life and the powerful performances he delivered. His career not only entertained but also inspired generations of artists and audiences alike, leaving behind a lasting impact that will be cherished for years to come. Anouk Aimé, the iconic French film actress whose illustrious career spanned over seven decades, passed away peacefully at her home in Paris on June 18, 2024, the age of 92. Her legacy, encapsulating some of the most influential European films, leaves behind a body of work that resonates with timeless elegance and profound emotional depth. Born in Paris on April 27, 1932, Aimé grew up in a vibrant artistic environment that profoundly shaped her future in acting. Her early entry into the cinematic world at the age of four marked the beginning of a distinguished career, making her a beloved figure in international cinema. Aimé's breakthrough came with Federico Fellini's La Dolce Vita, where she captivated audiences with her enigmatic presence. Collaboration with Fellini continued with Eight Half, showcasing her versatility and depth as an actress. She gained further acclaim for her role in A Man and a Woman, directed by Claude Lelouch, earning her a Golden Globe Award for Best Actress, a BAFTA Award, and an Academy Award nomination. This role not only solidified her status as a leading lady of cinema, but also as a muse within the French New Wave movement. Throughout her career, Aimé was celebrated for her ability to convey complex emotions with subtlety and grace, often portraying characters marked by a melancholic aura. Her performances were noted for their sophistication and inherent dignity, making her a symbol of style and poise. Beyond the screen, Aimé was a figure of elegance and intelligence, often associated with cultural icons like Jacqueline Kennedy. Her beauty and talent made her a favorite subject for some of the world's leading photographers and filmmakers, contributing to her lasting legacy an emblem of classic film glamour. Aimé's impact on cinema is enduring, with her roles in films such as Lola, The Appointment, and Justine standing as testaments to her artistic legacy. She was honored with an honorary César Award in 2002 and an honorary Golden Bear at the Berlin International Film Festival in 2003, recognizing her invaluable contributions to the film industry. As we remember Anouk Aimé, we celebrate a life and career that brought immeasurable elegance, emotion, and depth to the world of cinema. Her work continues to inspire and captivate, ensuring her place as a timeless icon in the annals of film history. Donald Sutherland, the esteemed Canadian actor, whose captivating presence graced both the silver and small screens for over six decades, passed away at the age of 88 after a long illness. With a career marked by extraordinary diversity and numerous accolades, including a Primetime Emmy Award, two Golden Globe Awards, and an Honorary Academy Award in 2017, Sutherland's legacy as an actor is monumental and deeply influential. Born on July 17, 1935, in St. John, New Brunswick, Sutherland's journey into the world of acting 
began at the University of Toronto and continued at the London Academy of Music and Dramatic Art. His early stage work paved the way for a prolific film career that took off in the 1960s, establishing him as a formidable presence in Hollywood. Sutherland's breakout roles in classics like The Dirty Dozen and M.A.S.H. showcased his versatile acting prowess, demonstrating his unique blend of intensity and charisma. His portrayal of Hawkeye Pierce in M.A.S.H. remains a defining moment in film history, encapsulating the absurdity and tragedy of war, remarkable depth and nuance. Through the decades, Sutherland continued to defy expectation, taking on roles that span genres. From the haunting thriller Don't Look Now, to the dystopian saga The Hunger Games franchise, where he delivered a chilling performance as the tyrannical President Snow. His work on television was equally notable, earning him critical acclaim and a slew of awards for performances in productions like Citizen X and Path to War. Off-screen, Sutherland was known for his eloquent voice and thoughtful presence, making him a sought-after narrator and voice actor in numerous projects. His advocacy for various causes, particularly anti-war efforts, showcased his commitment to both his craft and his principle. An officer of the Order of Canada and a member of both the Canadian and Hollywood Walks of Fame, Sutherland was not just a celebrated actor but also a cherished national icon in Canada. His enduring legacy will live on through his extensive body of work, contributions to the arts, and his influence on generations of filmmakers and actors. Donald Sutherland's passing marks a significant loss to the entertainment world, but his vast body of work stands as a lasting testament to his immense talent and impact. As audiences continue to revisit his performances, his legacy will undoubtedly continue to inspire and entertain for generations to come. Nick Mavar, a former deckhand on the Discovery Channel's Deadliest Catch, passed away at the age of 59, following a medical emergency in Knocknick, Alaska. His journey through the perilous waters of the Bering Sea was documented across 98 episodes from 2005 to 2021, capturing the hearts of viewers with his dedication, resilience, and unwavering spirit. Nick's time on Deadliest Catch illuminated the harrowing life of a crab fisherman, and underscored his vital role in maintaining the Northwestern and its complex machinery. His departure from the show followed a significant health scare related to his appendix, an ordeal that deeply affected him and led to a notable legal battle concerning the circumstances of his medical treatment. The incident on the Northwestern during the pandemic raised serious questions about the accessibility of medical assistance for crew members prompting Nick to take legal action against Captain Sig Hansen. The dispute centered on the alleged lack of a proper emergency medical plan, which Nick argued contributed to the complications he endured. This legal matter remained a significant aspect of his life, even as he transitioned away from television and back to the sea. After leaving the limelight of television, Nick continued to embrace the call of the ocean, captaining his own salmon boat in Alaska's Bristol Bay. Here, he found a quieter existence away from the cameras but stayed close to the waters that had shaped his life story. His return to the sea was a testament to his enduring connection to the ocean and the profound influence it had on him. Nick Mavar's legacy is woven into the fabric of Deadliest Catch, where he is remembered as a hard-working and passionate seaman who faced the relentless challenges of the sea with courage and tenacity. His story serves as a poignant reminder of the realities faced by those who braved the dangers of the fishing industry. Nick's spirit will continue to inspire those who know the sea as their home or their calling, reflecting the deep bond he shared with the ocean and the indomitable will that defined his life. Breaking News of the Day News 1. Anthony Hopkins is embracing both the longevity and twilight of his illustrious career with a remarkable sense of peace and productivity. In an exclusive interview with People, the esteemed actor offered insights into his life, highlighting his robust health and enduring passion for his craft. I've just had a medical checkup and I'm in good shape, Hopkins shared, 
noting that his recent decision to eliminate sugar from his diet has significantly enhanced his overall well-being. This lifestyle adjustment complements an active routine filled with acting, painting, and playing music, keeping his mind and body engaged. Despite his age, Hopkins continues to receive scripts regularly and embraces a flexible approach to his roles. I'll take anything, quipped, underscoring how his work not only provides him with a sense of purpose, but also fuels his creative spirit. This is especially evident in his current projects, including a voice role in Netflix's upcoming Rebel Moon, Part 2, Scargiver, and a compelling performance in Freud's Last Session, now showing in select theaters. Off-screen, Hopkins finds joy in creating light-hearted TikTok and Instagram videos, a venture he began at the encouragement of his wife Stella and niece Tara Arav. Through these snippets, he aims to bring laughter and levity to others, acknowledging, life is tough, the world is a savage place, but life has its beauty. As Hopkins navigates his senior years with grace and a proactive attitude toward health and happiness, his story serves as an inspiring reminder of the fulfilling possibilities that await at any stage of life. His ability to find joy in his craft and connect with others through his art exemplifies a life well-lived, rich in both creativity and contentment. News 2. Don Hollyoke, a beloved contestant from the 2012-2 season of The Great British Baking Show, has passed away at the age of 61. The news of her death was shared through a heartfelt announcement on her Instagram account, where she was remembered not only as a wonderfully talented baker, but as an incredible mother, grandmother, wife, and friend. Hailing from Bedfordshire and working as an IT manager before her time on the show, Dawn captured hearts across the nation with her culinary skills and warm personality. Her family sh shared that Dawn passed away peacefully, surrounded by loved ones, and expressed their enduring love for her. They pledged to carry on her baking legacy, a sentiment that has resonated deeply with her fans, fellow contestants, and judges alike. Errol Edwards, a fellow contestant from the same season, mourned her loss saying, I will miss my friend terribly a beautiful and talented lady inside and out. Fly high, my friend. Life just won't be the same without you. Judge Paul Hollywood also conveyed his sympathies, writing, I'm so sorry to hear that. Send my love to the family. A lovely lady X. Don Hollyoak's legacy and her contributions to the Bacon community are fondly remembered by all who knew her. Her family remains committed to honoring her memory by continuing to share her passion for baking, ensuring that her spirit lives on through her love for the craft. As we close today's episode on the Nostalgia Channel, reflecting on the lives and legacies of those we have recently lost, we are reminded of their lasting impact on our hearts and screens. Our picture. Their contributions to music, cinema, and television have left an indelible mark on the hearts of past and present generations. Let us continue to cherish their memories and celebrate the joy and inspiration they brought to our lives. Thank you for joining us in celebrating these extraordinary talents. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to stay connected with us as we continue to celebrate the nostalgia of yesteryear. Until next time, take care and keep the memories alive.